In video five, we're gonna look at footwork and agility drills incorporating the med ball. We're gonna look at two different exercises. For the first one, the tail is gonna demonstrate a lateral shuffle where she's moving to the side, receiving a ball, able to decelerate that ball and throw it back in. Open stance, recover back, she's going through two different throws. For the second exercise, we're gonna have Amar come in and he's gonna show us a little different variation. It's gonna be some figure eight work where he's working, weaving in and out, up and top, and then side to side, still receiving that ball within a crossover and then recovering back. Both exercises are great for challenging your athlete, getting them outside the original coaching cues, the stances, but just making them think on their own and just act on their own. Have fun, challenge them and see what happens. So we have um, Nutella stand behind the first cone. She's gonna receive two balls, she's gonna shuffle out, get in her ready position, good. She's gonna receive that ball. She's gonna load, drive the ball back, cross over, hit that shuffle, push all the way back out, receive that ball again, and then drive back across her body, crossing that foot under the hip. Notice within her lateral shuffle, she stayed nice and low, very similar to the same exact stance and posture we used for our med ball. She received the ball already in a great position, and then she threw it back. It makes it very, very easy to move when you're already in the right position. For the second exercise, we're gonna have Amar come in and he's gonna show us a little bit of figure eight work where he's weaving in and out. In the second exercise, we're gonna change the dynamic of the movement a little bit. Now we're gonna create a weaving pattern where Amar is changing direction up and back. He's gonna hit the outside of the cone, cross over, receive the ball, drive it back and recover back through the cones again. So again, he's gonna start in that receiving position, athletic base, he's gonna go, he's gonna go up and back, he's light on his feet, he's gonna circle around, staying in the same exact position, cross over, receive the ball, he's gonna drive it straight back through, and then weave straight in and straight back out. It's important with this drill that he stays nice and low, that's gonna determine how quickly he can push from side to side and move in and out. Any of these drills are great for the kids to be able to use and your athletes. It gives them a little bit of variation again, it challenges them and it's fun and they see how it really applies to the game of tennis. This concludes our fifth video for our Tennis Speed and Power Performance Series. We're going to move into our last and final video, which now we're going to use the bungees to apply into some racket play as well as some ball play.